Hello, my name's Graham Hopkins. I'm presently releasing a series of videos on how your intuitive mind impacts your everyday life and how you can change in order to fulfill your desires and feel good about yourself. One of the most common questions people ask is, will those closest to me, my husband, wife, children or partner, accept me if I change? This is actually one of the key questions because it involves peer pressure and our need to feel unconditionally loved, connected and accepted. All issues relating to a lack of acceptance are rooted in an inability to accept ourselves for who we really are. It's really that simple. The truth is, most don't even know that a real me actually exists. We don't accept ourselves fully because our internal map of reality doesn't allow us to embrace our worthiness. Why? Because our ego makes us feel safe, even whilst wallowing around in our own SH1T. The internal map of reality is often largely spiritually unconscious and runs automatically underneath the radar of our subconscious mind without us even being aware of what energy is driving us. There are four things that you create in your internal map of reality. One is how you feel. Two, how you behave. Three, which people or situations you attract and are attracted to, and for what meanings you attach to circumstances and things. Notice that this list is predominantly about you. The only thing that you have control over in order to change is yourself. That's it. Have you ever tried to change your spouse, your partner, your children, or even your friends? If you've ever succeeded in doing that, then congratulations. You are the first person that I've ever heard of that has accomplished that. Remember, the only person you can change is yourself. The problem is, you cannot guarantee how your husband, wife, children, partner or friends will react to the change in your energy. What attracted you to your partner in the first place was the energy at which you were both vibrating at. If your heart is transformed to vibrate at a lower, calmer, more conscious and spiritually aware frequency, it may cause some friction. Friction that you'll have to learn not to react to. The application of unconditional love and divine grace is the only thing that will melt a hardened heart. However, on the other hand, if physical or emotional abuse, note emotional abuse is often more difficult to become aware of and deal with than straight out physical abuse. But if either is an issue, then greater awareness gives you greater choice. And one of those choices may be to leave that toxic relationship, unless of course both partners are willing to seek energetic harmony within that relationship. One thing is for sure, if one's energetic frequency changes, then both partners will have to adjust to meet that frequency, or the partnership will wither as they struggle to relate and they will thus grow apart. Here's why. When you become more spiritually aware of the internal representations that are driving you, you have more choice. In fact, your choices become limitless. Now here's the bottom line. When awareness and choice hold sway in your internal map of reality, you cannot, it is impossible, to believe something about yourself unless it serves you and brings inspiration to your being. The question is, 
Do you desire to live a life of purpose knowing who you really are and therefore fulfil your potential? Or do you want to be stuck in relationships that do not serve you and are ultimately bringing death to the cells of your body? Only you can answer that and the only person you can change is you. If those around you change to match your level of frequency, then you can be assured of wonderful relationships. If not, then so be it. This is Graham Hopkins. If this video struck a chord in your heart and you would like to receive 21 free videos of the top questions people ask about how they can feel fulfilled, live their own truth and confidently fulfill their desires, then visit www.mindmanifesto.com. Thank you so much for your time.